everyone, welcome to Walks with Holly. In case you're joining me for the first time, I am Holly and I am a housewife, mom of four kids, and a homeschooling mom. And I do a lot of homeschooling videos, mommy lifestyle, and a lot of cooking videos. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right now because I don't want you to miss a single video and it would really help my channel to grow. Today, I am going to be making a really yummy recipe. If you like pineapple upside down cake and you love rum cake, I have the best recipe for pineapple upside down rum cake. This stuff is delicious. I have tried many pineapple upside down cakes in the past, pineapple rum, rum cakes, and I just took the best of each of them and combined them until I found the one that turned out top notch. So with all my tweaking and all my experimenting, I would like to share with you my favorite pineapple rum upside down cake. First, I'll be going through all the ingredients here. I'm gonna be using pineapple tidbits plus their juice, one packet of yellow cake mix, one packet of instant vanilla pudding, four large eggs, canola oil, dark rum, butter, and dark brown sugar. First, I'm gonna set my oven to 350. Then I'm gonna get my bundt pan ready. How I like to grease my bundt pan is I like to use butter. I like to just spread the butter on, brush it really well, so that way the cake slides right out. It works so much better than cooking spray. So first I am going to separate my pineapple juice from my pineapples and just save that for later. Next I will be taking one stick of butter, putting it in the microwave for one minute. I'm going to be making my topping right now. First I'm going to take one cup of half brown sugar and add it to my melted butter and then just mix it together. Just make sure it is well incorporated. And then we are going to pour it into the bottom of the bundt pan. Next, I'm going to take my dark rum and I'm gonna measure three-fourths cup of the dark rum and just pour it onto my brown sugar butter mixture. Nothing fancy, just lightly mix it in here. Next, I will take my pineapple tidbits and just spread them out evenly amongst the brown sugar butter rum mix. Then we're gonna go ahead and work on the cake mix. So get a large bowl out and add one package of yellow cake mix and then one package of instant vanilla pudding mix, then four large eggs. And I like to beat my eggs before I put them in. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of pineapple juice, a half a cup of dark rum, and a half a cup of canola oil. And once I have all my ingredients in here, I'll go ahead and put it in my KitchenAid and mix it up. You can use an electric mixer if you prefer, but just make sure it is all mixed in well. Then we are going to add the cake mixture to the pan, and you'll just wanna make sure that it is evenly distributed inside of the pan and you are gonna wanna scrape out every last bit of that cake mixture because the more cake, the better. So we will stick it in the oven here at 350 and let it cook for 55 to 60 minutes until it is golden brown. And when you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. So I like to wait an hour, maybe even two hours before I take it out. But go ahead, when it's ready, put it on a plate and flip it over and voila. There is your pineapple rum upside down cake. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, we are gonna cut this cake open and show you just how great it looks in the inside. I'm telling you, this is a great dessert for having company over for parties or just make it for yourself. It makes a great breakfast too. So check that out. It is super moist and it will stay moist if you keep it in an airtight container. And if you wanna try making this, the recipe will be in the description box below. All right, so that was my pineapple rum upside down cake. I hope that you get a chance to try it at home. And if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please hit that button because I have a lot more cooking videos coming up and I don't want you to miss a single one. Again, I appreciate you watching my video today and hope to see you next time.